Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Ash. Welcome to my channel, Saved by an Angel. Can you believe I forgot my selfie stick? Gotta rock it old school today. Anyways, in this video, I'm gonna talk about some things you can do if you've had a spiritual awakening and you've come to the realization that you're a bit of an a-hole and you don't really like yourself. That's what happened to me in 2013 when mom passed away from pancreatic cancer eight months after being diagnosed. I realized for the first time as I watched my mom take her final breaths that one day that was going to be me and it was impossible for me not to focus on who I'd become, what I'd done with my life, and evaluate every single re relationship, friendship that I had and the more self-aware I become of myself, the more uh, disappointed and uh, you know, the more I wanted to give up. It was one of the big deciding factors in 2014, right before I tried to start my car in my garage, was the, having the belief that uh, I was stuck with the person that I'd become and it was impossible to change. When I looked back on my life, I saw someone that was full of anxiety and depression, had no self-love, had no self-worth, no enthusiasm for life. And uh, I was just like, this is who I'm gonna be stuck with for the rest of my life. I might as well, I might as well just leave. It was one of the big, uh, you know, there was many factors, but that was one of them. And, uh, you know, being where I am now and looking back all throughout my 20s, up to my early 30s, like, uh, you know, I had a major anger problem like where if somebody insulted me, I would have to get up into their face and, uh, you know, do it 10 times as bad, right? And uh, I've gotten to a point now where I really could care less about the opinions of others. I kind of had to get into that mindset in order to start releasing these videos because I knew making videos claiming to a bunch of strangers that I've been visited by Jesus would make me look like a lunatic to some people but you know you have to ask yourself if you're in your old man's shower and this five foot tall buzzing Jesus came up to you and uh just loaded you up with unconditional love and uh exchanged all these downloads to you would you keep it to yourself I'm guessing not I did for a while when Archangel Michael saved my life before I could start my car in 2014, I didn't tell anyone for a year. But after that, I was just like, okay, I can't contain this anymore. It's all I can kind of talk about now. But um, if um, you're in the situation where you're not too pleased with yourself, here's some things you can do. First of all, if you're watching a video like this, you've already done the first step and that's become self-aware if you've got to that point it was through self-awareness and so you know who you don't want to be anymore that's the good news now what you got to do is you got to um ask yourself who you want to become and start taking steps towards that for me i changed my life completely i quit drinking i quit gambling i quit smoking cigarettes you know um i started working out i became a vegetarian i started just you know eating super healthy at one point not that it held up forever but that's how I started to change who I was I started meditating okay but becoming self-aware becoming self-aware of your thoughts and how they make you feel becoming self-aware of your actions and the things you say to other people and how it makes them feel that is the number one way to start changing your life and you know I'm definitely not perfect but when I look back to who I was for the majority of my life, I can definitely say I'm proud of the accomplishments I've come to this far, even though I'm my worst critic and I'm like, I still got so much further to go. Luckily, I got an Aya ceremony booked on the 24th of July. Let's see what happens there. I'll definitely make a video for you guys on that one. But anyways, that's the big thing. Self-awareness and start meditating. Set your timer for five minutes. Close your eyes, breathe through your nose, out your mouth and that is going to give you it gives you a gap in time between things that happen around you right 
what do I mean is if something happens that you're not happy with around you meditation gives you that gap that time gap to actually think about how you want to respond to something okay if you're gonna have to do something anyways might as well do it with a smile on your face right so meditation gives you that time incorporate that you're on the right track that's all i got thanks to all my subscribers people who are liking and commenting on these videos it helps my channel grow really appreciate it hope you have a great day see you in the next one